Now to this, new developments in the California shooting massacre. An 11th person has just died from a shooting at a ballroom dance club in Monterey Park. Nine others wounded. A brave bystander disarmed the shooter at a second dance studio nearby, likely saving more lives. The suspect ran off, later found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Authorities now searching for a motive. The horror unfolding just as the city was celebrating the Lunar New Year. Correspondent Nancy Liu joins us outside the dance studio. And Nancy, this shooting sent off a shock wave of fear through Asian American communities in the LA area. Very much so, Marky. And what happened on the ballroom floor here at the Star Dance Studio is still under investigation and sinking in for Monterey Park, a community gripped by tragedy and now confirmation of an 11th death. It is a sad and solemn start to the Lunar New Year. The Star Dance Studio is closed indefinitely and a memorial is growing outside the main gate. I'm so sad, I'm so sorry about him and I'm grief, so that's why I come over. James Chow said he was drawn to the Star Studio to mourn his friend and former instructor Ming Wei Ma. Oh, this is terrible. It's, uh... It's kind of very tragic. The identities of those killed are beginning to emerge. The victims ranged in age from their 50s to 70s. Ballroom dance is a popular form of exercise among Asian seniors, and the Star Studio has been a community staple, along with the nearby Lai Lai Studio, where the gunmen tried to carry out more carnage. California Governor Gavin Newsom has been in Monterey Park working with community leaders. I know the families want to know why. The why is a big part of this. The problem is we may never know the why, and we have to work past that. The motive of gunman Hu Can Tran remains under investigation. The 72-year-old shot and killed himself as authorities closed in on his white van about 12 hours after the shooting. This is a ticket from the Chinese New Year countdown dance party that he targeted and wasn't invited to. According to the LA Times, Tran was having emotional problems in recent weeks, and he had personal disputes with people at the Star Studio. I understand that he uh, met his ex-wife um, here at the dance hall 20 years ago. Uh, he was a frequent attendee at the dance hall. Um, but unfortunately, you know, we still don't fully know the motivation for him to uh, do what he did during a little New Year celebration at the dance hall. And authorities are still looking into the mental health history of the gunman. The apparent motive of jealousy has negated the initial fear that the shooting was an Asian hate crime with somebody targeting crowds during the Lunar New Year. Marky? Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.